Hi there, today we're going to make some hummus um, fresh. We've made our tahini earlier and I'll uh, put some instructions later on for how to make that. Very, very simple to make. And what I'm using is two tins of chickpeas. If you prefer to use the dry, that's absolutely fine. Just soak them for around about 8 to 12 hours beforehand um, and then follow the same instructions. Um, I, I'm just using the tins today, it's uh, just easier for me. Um, what I am going to do though is also roast up some garlic cloves um, so that we can add some roasted garlic to the hummus and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Um, and I'll talk through what I'm going to do. I like to so either soften or remove some of the skins from the chickpeas. It just gives a slightly smoother hummus um, end product. Again, completely personal choice. You can take them straight out of the tin, put them in the mixer, tahini, etc., and uh, mix it up without doing any of this. Um, I like to do it, so I'll show you how I do it. So I've drained the chickpeas and rinsed them with some cold water. Put them in a pan and covered them in cold water again um, to about sort of two inches above where they are, so up to about the main knuckle on your finger. And what I do then is just add a teaspoon of baking powder and that will help to break down and soften um, the skins on there. It may seem an odd ingredient, you'll see it fizz up a little at first, um, but it does work and uh, really helps to get the skins off and if you're not going to remove them completely it really softens them um, so that you can then um, just whiz them up in your mixer and you get a nice smooth hummus. For the roasted garlic what I've done is I've peeled um, three whole bulbs of garlic into individual cloves. I've cut off the really hard end of all of them because I found that when you try to whiz that, it sometimes doesn't um, mix up quite so well, and you end up with some gritty bits um, in the hummus. So what we're gonna do is we've covered those in olive oil, and we've got those on a low heat, and they're gonna cook on low for about 30 to 40 minutes, um, which is about the same time that we're gonna simmer the chickpeas with the baking soda. Um, so they should all be ready around about the same time. Right, so the garlic has been on low for about half an hour or so, and you can see it's started to brown nicely. All the flavour from the garlic as well is coming into that oil. So what we're going to do is we're going to sieve those, keep the oil, um, that's going to be fantastic for brushing onto steaks or anything else you like when you're cooking. You could use it to make a bit of a vinaigrette or something, have that lovely garlic flavour. And we'll keep the garlic cloves to one side, let them cool, and we'll be putting about a third of a cup of those into our hummus when we make it. And the chickpeas have also been simmering away for about 30 minutes, so we're going to drain those, rinse them with some cold water, and then uh, we'll go through the next step of uh, removing some of the outer shell. Okay, so we're just gonna drain the oil off of the garlic. What we'll do is we'll lift these out Place them over there. We'll leave those to cool a little. And we'll take this oil and allow that to cool. When we add our oil to the hummus as we're mixing it, we'll use that oil um, so that will give it a really nice flavour. Right, so what I've done, I've drained the chickpeas from the pan, rinsed them with a bit of cold water, and I've put them in a bowl with some cold water. Now, if you just run your hands through them gently, a lot of the skins will just separate. Now because we put that baking powder in, they have actually dissolved a lot of the skins anyway, but if you want to get more out, you now just get something like a fish slice, see it'll pick up some of the bits and you can just take those away. Now again, you don't have to do any of this. You can use the chickpeas straight from the pan. I like to try to remove some of the skins. I find it just makes a smoother hummus for you, um, which I like. But again, it's all down to personal taste. So I'll just remove a few of these, and then we're going to strain these once more, rinse them with water, and then get on to mixing them. Okay, so we've got most of the skins off of there. Put it into the mixer. I'm just going to blitz these for a little bit, get them mixed up so they're starting to go into a bit of a paste. I'll pulse them for a bit. Now 
now you can see they're starting to come together quite nicely. So we're going to add about a third of a cup of our roasted garlic into there. And half a cup of the tahini um, that we made ourselves. Very simple to make. We used one cup of sesame seeds, toasted them very lightly, whizzed them up in the mixer here until they formed a sort of crumbly paste. Then we added a little bit of salt and about three to four tablespoons um, of groundnut oil and just mix that together so that you have a pourable consistency. Um, very, very easy to make. Uh, saves you having to go and find it. It's not always the easiest thing to find in some supermarkets. So we'll add some that out. And when you make it up, put it in a jar, it'll last for up to about a month. What I'll do, I'll mix this and then we'll check it for seasoning. If it needs a little bit of salt or anything, we'll put that in. Um, I'm going to be adding a little bit of the oil to this in a minute. So, with this, if you need to, just get a spatula, just push it down the sides a little. If any of the chickpeas have uh, stuck to the side, just make sure you get them all in. Now we can see how it's quite thick at the moment, so we'll start slowly adding that lovely garlic oil. Consistency and seasoning. Mm. Need a bit of salt. I will need a bit more oil. That was about a third of a cup of oil I put in then. Gonna add a little bit more. Right, that oil's got all that flavour from the garlic in. Absolutely delicious. Better with that little bit of salt. For me, it's the right consistency because it will stick nicely to the bread or anything else you're going to use it for. You can use this in pasta or anything you like. Um, so we'll plate that up.